Inverness that I can see around the track. We'll say hello to the fans on the back stretch there. Big crowd cheering them on tonight. Grandstands packed, the rails packed, and the racing has been fantastic. We'll wrap it up here in the 10th on gathering night with a field of six. Rotten Ronnie and Redmond Doucette, Sunshine Lou, Danny Gillis, Custard's Dungeon, Zach Mullins, Windermere Best Man, and Rodney Gillis, Better Than Butter, Colin Shepard, Euchard, Walter Walker. Tenth race, top of the stretch. Here they come. And there they go off and pacing. The inside three are firing into the turn. Rotten Ronnie with rail control. Sunshine Lou on the outside. Oh, Custard's Dungeon to a break there around the turn as Zach Mullins lost him as they head towards the opening eighth. Rotten Ronnie up front and line to Redmond who set the inside second. Sunshine Lou better than Butter driving up here quickly from third and on to challenge at the inside fourth of Windermere best man then four more lengths back fifth to Euchard and after the break the trailer is Custard's Dungeon 29 and one opened it up Rotten Ronnie on point for Redmond who said at three eights Sunshine Lou tucked away for a perfect pocket ride in the finale better than Butter decided to stay on the outside He's parked third to the half. Inside fourth uh, is a Windermere best man back on at the inside. Custer's Dungeon moves out from fifth again. And Euchre trails back there in sixth. Opening half mile, 58 and one. Rotten Ronnie, the leader, next to five eights. And it's a dream trip for Sunshine Lou, second. There goes a Windermere best man to the outside, third. And he's coming in a hurry next to three quarters. Better than butter at the inside, fourth. Custards, dungeon wide, fifth. Euchre trail, sixth. Still rotten Ronnie at three quarters for Redmond. Clear by a couple over Sunshine Lou. Windermere best man is there, third. Three quarters in one. 28 and three. First start of the season for Redmond. Rotten Ronnie, Redmond's trying to go right down the road with him. He's got them by four. He's looking for more in the stretch. Rotten Ronnie at the inside. Sunshine Lou, Windermere, best man. Rotten Ronnie is back tonight at Inverness. He won the finale on Wednesday gathering day over Windermere, best man. And Sunshine Lou, and he blitzed home at 28-2 and two for a mile and one. 57-1. and one.
Ladies and gentlemen, there is a judge's inquiry in tonight's 10th race. They're looking into the break on three Custard's Dungeon, so we'll ask you please to hold all tickets till results go official. 10th race this evening is in memory of Jamie and Ann Walker for Harness the Hope. They owned horses here at Inverness Raceway, such as the top class Kawartha Toronto, as well as Splur Jet and many more. Jamie was a member of the Raceway Executive, and tonight the family presents a blanket in their memory. And as it was through all the races here Wednesday on Gathering Day, large contingent in that Inverness winner's circle here in tonight's 10th race. And that Jamie and Ann Walker cooler presentation is going to the one Rotten Ronnie. Five-year-old Brown Stallion by Malicious out of the Brandon's Cowboy Dam victory cry. For Redmond Doucette and Andy Stewart, Inverness, Lennon, McIsaac trains. That's Redmond Doucette in the bike. And I'm a big Rotten Ronnie fan. As they said a couple of years ago, he set the all-age track record at Northside Downs with that big win over Woodmere Steel Deal a few years ago. It's the fastest mile in the history of harness racing to date in Cape Breton. 16th lifetime win, and he's one for one to start 2023. In the Jamie Ann Walker Memorial to wrap it up on gathering Wednesday at Inverness, Rotten Ronnie, coast to coast, in tonight's 10th for Redmond, who said it won 57 and 1.